if you have a kerosene heater, this happens to be a Kerasun, an Omni 85. They're not in production any longer, but they all work the same. If you're not getting enough heat out of it, or if it's making smoke or you're getting fumes, one of several things. You have some water in your fuel. You're using fuel that's not clear kerosene. Or your wick has to be replaced or cleaned. The way the manual says to clean this out, to clean your wick, is to run this until there's no fuel in it. Let the wick burn itself dry. Once you do that, you raise the wick all the way up. Obviously, this is after it cools. You raise the wick all the way up. You can't take the sides off, but to clean this wick, it's really not necessary. Come to the top. Take the top off. Now, this edge here is rolled over. It's not sharp, but some of these edges inside are sharp. You may want to wear gloves doing this. Put the inside out. You can see where this carboned up. This is something you should do outside. I'm inside today just showing how to do it because it's just too cold to go outside. And you can see you're inside your burn chamber. And here's your wick down in here. Let me get a light on that. Let's see if we can see this without me having to take it all apart. All right, now this wick is in pretty rough shape. It has to be replaced. I'm waiting to, for a wick to come in, or I just may go to Lowell's. I think they have one there. Worst case, I'll end up with two of them. What you would do to clean this is you get a, a nylon brush, a small brush. You can get them out of a Harbor Freight, a hardware store, or you could use a toothbrush. This is a toothbrush I use on carburetors when I clean them. And you want to clean this by brushing it up. Okay, you want to go all the way around. You don't want to go back and forth and fray the wick on top. You just want to brush any carbon that may be left on it. And what happens by burning it out, you're cleaning off any carbon that may be on there. So after you brush it all the way around, clean it up, wipe it out with a rag, get a vacuum, whatever, whatever your situation calls for. Some will be worse than others. Drop the wick back down. Fill your tank, let it soak for about 30 minutes, then fire it up. If you have fresh fuel, and that doesn't help you out, you also will need a new wick. And that's the long and the short of it. If you have any comments or suggestions, post them down below. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Not to miss any videos as I upload them, be sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe. Until next time, stay well.